hi everyone welcome back to my channel so i know it's been a while since i last posted a video it was about i believe it was over a year ago and just with everything that's been going on this past year i decided to take a step back but i'm here now i don't want to make a whole drawn out explanation just know that i will be posting again so yeah as the title suggests, this is a haul of eyeshadow palettes that I've purchased throughout this past year. Some of these I did already mention in a previous haul video, but I never got around to swatching it for YouTube. These palettes have been used and they look a hot mess, so you won't be seeing that when I open them. And I will be showing them to you in the order that I did purchase them. So the first palette is the Nabla Dreamy 2 palette, which looks like this. As you can tell, it's been very well loved. Super pretty color story. Then we have the ColourPop Frozen 2 Elsa palette. I did show the Anna palette already in a video. And this looks like this. This was in my haul video as well. And the final palette I think that I have already shown is the ColourPop Gimme Butterflies palette. Which looks like this. And I'm not sure, but I believe that this isn't available anymore. But it's so pretty, so I will be swatching it for you anyways. Um, but I have not seen this on their website and I believe I purchased it at Ulta and I haven't seen it there either Then we have the ColourPop nude mood And as you can tell I have been using the crap out of this it is real messy messy and gross But it's a very pretty neutral palette Then we have the Blush Crush again from ColourPop, which looks like that. Now we have the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. Super pretty, once again, very well used. Then we have the Ofra New Solstice palette. This packaging is a hot mess. I hate it. It just gets so dirty. It's gross. And that looks like this. Then we have the Juvia's Place, the Nubian Royal. And this came with a set and it came with some lip balms as well. I did purchase it at Ulta, but I don't think that it is available anymore. I bought this during, I think it was in December. So very pretty purples. These are actually pulling really blue, I feel like, but they're more purpley. Then we have the Too Faced Salted Caramel Palette super cute i love mini palettes like this they did release some new christmas ones that i think i will pick up because they look very adorable then we have this ColourPop menage a moi this is another palette that i believe they might not have anymore I did purchase it on the Ulta website and I haven't seen it on there recently. Then we have the Topes by Juvia's, which looks like that. Very similar to the ColourPop Going Coconut or their Taupe palette. I don't have their Taupe palette, but I do see some similarities there as well. The Juvia's Chocolates. the berries the sweet pinks these two colors are super pretty the violets
the Nabla Secret Palette. I love this palette here. As you can tell, this is one of my newer palettes. I've only used this once so far. The ColourPop It's a Mood. I absolutely love the color story on this. As soon as I saw it online, I knew I had to have it. It's so beautiful. The Lorac Pro Palette Noir. Ugh, I hate this packaging. You see, like, it just looks a hot mess. But this is a super pretty neutrals palette. And then we have the new Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette. Another one that I've only used once. Super pretty. And I don't feel like it smells like cinnamon rolls. So if that's something that you were wondering and you wanted it, I, it, it doesn't to me. <laughs> then we have the Juvia's The Rebel Army which looks like that i really 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 love green shadows so i had to pick this one up it's super pretty and last but not least this is my newest purchase i actually got this i think about four or five days ago and it is the newest anastasia primrose palette i try to purchase all of the anastasia palettes all the ones since modern renaissance i believe i only don't have one of them and it was a bright pink one i can't remember the name it was a collaboration with a drag queen i believe and i just didn't like the color story on that one and this is what it looks like you can see that i've already used it once and i just love it and it comes with blushes and everything so yeah so these are the palettes that i have picked up within the past year so i feel like that's a pretty decent amount it isn't like a million but i do feel like it's a pretty de decent amount like i said and yeah so within the few days i will be swatching these palettes out for you in the same order that i showed you well no actually i'm lying I think I'm gonna go backwards and show the newer ones first well I'm not sure yet but just know that they will all be swatched within the coming days and once again thank you for watching my videos I know I've been gone for a minute but I'm ready to get back into the groove of things and I hope that you stick around and I hope you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in the next one Bye.